Good morning, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. We are reading our daily bread from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 22. Seeing ye have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfringed love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Welcome to our party, Lord, of water and to wine feastings. Stand with us as we honor our special loved ones on this great occasion. Be with us, their friends and family, as we share a meal, a memory, and a toast to each other. Be present in their daily table as you are with them around this festive boutique now. On every occasion, Lord, you are the true reason for celebration. So, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man, um, we can kind of get into this a little bit, but um, today is my birthday, and I don't celebrate holidays anymore. Um, I stopped celebrating them probably years ago. Um, some of the reasons why, and we won't get too much into it here because I do want to do an updated version of this topic, um, but one of those reasons was just feeling like somebody forgot about you or somebody didn't love you because they didn't tell you happy birthday or maybe someone was struggling financially so they couldn't get you anything so i've been hurt a few times by the holidays and we can get into some more explanations in a different video um but i've been hurt kind of by the holidays and birthdays so i found it easier to just separate from them um i found it more peaceful and more um financially stable i'm not opposed to a celebration i'm not opposed to someone wanting to do something but it's not just something i throw out there so you know me even saying this on this video may be the first and last time that you may hear me say that but around holidays is not just some big celebration that I'm just throwing up I'm posting everywhere um, for me it's more like a low-key thing but I appreciate the people that do celebrate me the people that do reach out I appreciate that I'm learning to just more accept that on another level and in the future when people come into my lives like I'm not opposed to it you know I'm not opposed to getting an invitation to somebody's birthday party or somebody pulling up with a bouquet of roses and balloons on my birthday or anything it's just not something that I um put a lot of time into so instead what I do now is exactly what they said at the end of this text Lord you are the true reason for celebration now during these special holidays i just celebrate the lord i don't really focus on the days or anything i treat it like a normal day but i'm starting to treat every day like a better day like every day is a celebration so i'm supposed to be happy and grateful and celebrating and full of gifts and giving out gifts and receiving gifts every single day receiving love and respect and being grateful every single day so i treat every day like a celebration so the reading from first Peter chapter one, verses 22 is saying that seeing you have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfringed love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. So again, you know, sometimes celebrating certain things or, you know, people can feel left out. So we just want to make sure that we are beginning to be more aware, just taking baby steps into awareness on how we can make sure that we're celebrating people that we're loving people just purely and genuinely without it being a holiday without it being a celebration the person in their testimony is saying welcome to the party turn on turn on we finna turn up they are welcoming the lord into their party and they're saying this is a party of water being turned into wine feastings and they are just um grateful they're inviting the lord into the celebration um they're thanking the lord for their family and friends and the memories and all of the fun that they're going to have they're toasting to a fantastic night and they are saying on every occasion lord you are the true reason for celebration so when we begin to add god into these things that we celebrate we'll celebrate every day just as just the same just with as much love and gifting so alexis love beauties and flawless man when you get time today i encourage you to read first peter chapter 1 verses 22 and 
you know, do a little bit of research into that, um, you know, what holidays are and, you know, why you celebrate them and just see if there's different things that, you know, might stand out to you. But always invite the Lord into each and every celebration. Welcome the Lord to the party. Welcome the Lord into the promotion. Welcome the Lord into the financial stability. Welcome the Lord into your healing. Just welcome the Lord into everything that you do because he is the true reason of celebration without the Lord's power and his grace, it wouldn't be possible to see another day. It wouldn't be possible to celebrate another holiday. It wouldn't be possible to celebrate another birthday. So again, I'm not opposed to it. Um, Have fun when you're having fun, when you're celebrating these things, be sure that you welcome God into the party that way it's comfortable, it's safe, everybody feels welcome, everybody feels warm, loved, and appreciated. Everybody is on the same mental level of genuine love, purifying love that comes from the soul. So God bless you, Alexis loves you, and have a fantastic Friday.